AI Luke, I'm a ski expert, I curated. I've helped hundreds of people find the right ski for them. And today we are testing out the K2 Mindbender 85. Just so you know, we are not sponsored by any of these brands. So all of these reviews are completely unbiased. Don't forget, if you want to help finding the right ski for you, go ahead and click that link in the description. We'd love to help you find your next setup. This is, you know, one of the most affordable K2 skis. It's marketed by K2 as an entry level all mountain carving ski. It has just a wood core. There's no metal. So it is, you know, marketed as a forgiving beginner and intermediate ski. My overall impression was that it's a good all around ski. The turn initiation was pretty easy. Edge to edge, they were really quick. They held an edge pretty well. It's pretty skinny at 85. So it is more of a, a groomer on piece ski. But that being said, it does have a little bit of early rise in the, in the tip. So it will handle off piece decently well. In terms of flex, the ski is definitely on the softer side, definitely more forgiving side. This is not a demanding ski. This is not a ski that you need to crank on to get it to turn. You know, this would be a great ski for lighter skiers, uh, for skiers with a larger frame. Probably best to look for something a little bit stiffer, maybe with some carbon or metal in it. I did try to open the ski up a bit and it immediately started to chatter and kind of feel unstable. It has good edge grip for those short and uh, medium radius turns. But once you start opening it up, I just didn't trust this ski. That's just not what it's made for. Um, it's made for newer skiers who want something that's versatile enough for going off trail as well. The one good thing about having no metal on this ski is that it's definitely on the lighter side, uh, which makes it really easy on your legs. Also makes it much easier to maneuver in tight spots and a lot easier for initiating those shorter radius turns. If you're looking strictly for a ski for on piste and just for groomers with the most control, this actually wouldn't be my first choice. This ski just has a little bit softer tip and tail. It doesn't have quite the edge grip of other beginner skis. I definitely think you can take this ski off piste. That's kind of what it's made for. That being said, I wouldn't take it into very advanced technical terrain. Um, it's just not really made for that. And the 85 millimeter waist isn't gonna give you a ton of float and powder. I did ski these in some powder and, and they were fine. They held their own, but on really deep days, the, they would definitely sink in quite a bit. I think this ski is best for kind of a more ambitious beginner, somebody who doesn't want to just stick to the trails, who's comfortable risking it and going off trail and in the trees. I think the ski would be great for a beginner to a lower intermediate. I think the ski could take you up to intermediate, but after that, you'd probably outgrow the ski pretty quickly. Thank you.